Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the peer code review functionality in the Flowsum solution. Flowsum has a very powerful and easy to use peer code review functionality that we call a pull request. A pull request in Flowsum is not the same as a git based pull request as it does not deploy any code automatically. It is strictly a quality gate that does the review and approval. Uh, once the approval threshold is met, it then allows that code to be deployed to the particular branch. So how we work with our code reviews is we click on the pull request button to create a pull request. We select the existing users that we want to add to that. We click on the create pull request button and then they will get an email to this document um, where they can come in and do their review. Now this is an existing document so I can show you some of the functionality in here to save time. So in this case, we have four people reviewing this. I've already looked at this and rejected it. You can see my comment in here. Uh, all comments will be listed in here in a custom object. But as you'll see in a minute, they're actually displayed in line in the review. So the different reviewers can see each other's comments, as well as the developer seeing all the comments when he's going into do his remediation on this change. Within Flowsome, you can set up a custom approval threshold so I do not have to have all four people or a hundred percent of the approvers approve this change in order for it to be deployed I can say that I want 75 percent or two users whatever the case might be I can set up that threshold so once that is met then the code can be deployed so when I am ready to go in and review the code I click on the button and the first thing you see is some basic information as far as what branch it is, um, what the status is. So one person reviewed this and it was rejected. Um, that was me. Um, and I'll show you my comments in a minute. We show you all the components in here and how they contrast to what was last deployed. So things in yellow are different from the last time they were deployed to production. Green is something new that's in the sandbox that I have not yet deployed. And red is something that's identical to what is in production. So I really don't need to deploy that. It would be a waste of uh, API calls and time. So I can remove that from the deployment and not push that through. But I want to go in now and actually start reviewing some of the particular code and components in here. So I go in and I want to look at this layout. So I click on the view details. So this is, as you've heard before in the other videos, that powerful comparison engine we have. Uh, again, you can see my comment already in here. Anybody else's comments will be listed in here, and they relate to the line above them. So in this case, my comment had to do with this behavior being required. It is supposed to be edit. So I put my comment in. We show you in here how many differences there are, so what needs to be reviewed. So there's 11 things in this layout that need to be reviewed. I can navigate through them very, very easily using these arrows. And then we highlight them with a different color um, based on what they are. So yellow is an actual difference between the two. So this has edit, that has required. If I want to comment on this, I click on that line number. I can type in my comment, save it, and it will be displayed and stored just like this one is for that particular layout item below it. I can go through and find things that are highlighted in red. That is something that's in production that is not included in my uh, in the deployment. So I may want to question why is this missing. It may be it was a hot fix or somebody did this directly in the environment but again I can put that comment in here and save it. And now you can see that I have right in here for this why is this missing. So I would go through and comment on all these different things. Uh, once I've completed it and reviewed everything in here I then would come in and I would click on reject because I found issues. The developer would get an email with a link to all my comment documents and be able to see exactly what needs to be addressed. If I approve this, once it hits that approval threshold, it then can be deployed. Thank you.